Hi guys, this is Pradeep Kumar Pandey. Uh, you can call me PP. And uh, this is a series of video lectures in which I'll be trying to explain you fundamentals of computer science. Uh, I'll be trying to teach you all those. Sub- not actually teaching, but for the sake of the term, uh, those subjects which are uh, there in the syllabus of GATE. I'll be trying to make these lessons, uh, make these topics as uh, easier to understand as possible. So let me start with a simple question that uh, who are you? The basic answer of this question is that you are a software engineer. Since you have done your B.Tech in computer science, it is supposed from you that you write simple program. Okay. In some language, say C or C++ or Java or Python, anything. So why are you writing basically these programs? because you want something to get executed on your behalf okay uh, you are not going directly to the cpu at the motherboard you are not going directly to the cpu and uh, putting some values at the registers okay these are not done by your uh, by your side okay so this is done internally by some mechanism so there is the hardware which you need to get something executed for you so here comes uh, since this hardware understands only machine language you need to convert and your program is written in basically english language though it's c but anyhow it's in english so that it's human readable because human cannot understand binary language binary language is actually a language which is containing zero and one in its alphabet so this machine understands only binary okay so this is the language understandable by this hardware and this is the language which we understand as a programmer now so you need some kind of converter so that converter is called compiler so that compiler is converting your program which is called the source program the source file into the object file this is called the object file the binary or the executable file so i am shifting this one above okay so now this is your object file now but there is also one more problem that uh, if you your programs which is written by any random developer if uh, the source file which is now is the object file if this file is allowed to write at some hardware resource directly say at some location which is uh, not allowed to return not allowed to be written by some uh, user by some developer then what will happen that the complete system will crash so to secure the hardware from such situations we have a system called operating system the name suggests that it is the system which helps in operating your computer system so your program which is now in object file is stored somewhere in say some hard disk location and this is now the responsibility of the operating system to take care of these such programs such object files to take them from the hard disk run them using the resources the hardware get back to um, get the result back to some user who is looking for the output okay now so this is why you study compiler numbering them so that we can just count the number of subjects so there is compiler you need to understand programming languages also you need to understand the concepts of operating system because operating system is managing your complete system so this is why it is called resource manager okay so you need to understand resource manager since the hardware the cpu the basic system of hardware understands only on or off that's the binary language this is the only language which is understandable by your hardware this is why you need to understand some language which is actually operating on these bits so that is called digital logic so this is another subject which you needs to study and uh, along with digital logic you also need to study the basic uh architecture and organization of the uh system say how the cpus are designed how the uh, 
ram structure is how the cache is arranged and all those things should be studied inside this subject known as computer system architecture this will be the fourth one okay so this is why you need to study computer system or architecture along with this you also need to study the theoretical part of your hardware and software so there is initially a proposed unit of your computer initially so that there was a tape on which everything was written instead of the memory there was a tape on which your uh, say some characters were written and your controller or the say the cpu pointer was rovering over those uh, memory locations and uh, doing something which was required to be done so this machine was called turing machine initially when there was no concept of operating system and uh, basic cpu and all so that was the machine was proposed at turing machine and this will be studied inside a subject name called theory of computation naming it as numbering it as 5 okay so this this is why you need to study because this is the origin of your basic personal computer now you have your programs which are compiled by compiler managed by your operating system given to the hardware which understands something in binary so that's why you need to study digital logic and since it's hardware related and uh that's why you need to understand the computer organization and architecture and uh, uh, talk we also studied here now this is one whole system okay one more thing because you are writing programs you must be following some kind of uh, basic approaches and those approaches are called uh, say dynamic programming divide and conquer greedy algorithm these are all coming inside inside a subject name is algorithm design and analysis okay and we will also study data structure inside this because this is completely related to programming so this will be the sixth one for the count and uh, since this is just one whole system there and there is not just your system okay there are hex of other systems so say this is node 1 say there is another node 2 and there is another node and uh, these nodes want to communicate with each other these nodes want to communicate with each other these also want to communicate with each other so these communication is coming into existence so that they can, these nodes can share information with each other they can give some con they can share some control instructions to each other and all those things so this is why computer network came into existence so that there will be some rules which are to be followed to communicate and share some information with each other between these nodes okay so this is why uh, let's number it as seventh subject and if there is this is the client these are servers and all this is providing some service to this client this is providing some service to this and this is providing some service to this node if this is some kind of topological architecture is there each such server must be having some storage okay that storage is to be managed by some system some software called dbms the dbms is actually uh, all the time one user tries to uh, provide some query it uh, understands that query it optimizes that query and uh, it fetches the results based on the validity of the query so this is why we need to understand because any random query will any are going to make the system in some vulnerable state that's why some validation system must be there so dbms is that kind of system so let's name it the eighth one and what else is remaining most of things are covered yeah along with these things because you are a computer engineer you must be very good in one thing which is known as maths so let's name it as the ninth one so these are all the subjects which you need to study while preparing for gate and uh, i just try to put some you know rule where to fit these subjects in some rule in the whole system so we will be trying to understand each one of them every topic within each subject one by one uh, okay let's start it uh, from the next uh, lecture till then bye take care thanks for watching